Hey there yarn artists, I'm Chanel, your crochet companion at Crochet Republic and today we will begin making Peter the Panda. Our first task is to create two eye patches with our main colour. In my case, that would be purple. You will need chunky yarn in your preferred main colour, a 3.5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a stitch marker and a row counter. For round one, you will begin by making a slip knot and placing it on your hook. Next, you will chain four stitches. That's one, two, three, and four. Find the second chain from the hook and start in that one by making a single crochet stitch. In the next chain you will make another single crochet stitch. In the last chain you are going to make a quadruple single crochet increase. That means you're going to put four single crochets into the same stitch. As you're doing it you'll notice that your work is starting to turn so that you are getting to the other side of the chain. You're going to be working into the same stitches that you just worked in, only on the other side. Make a single crochet in your next stitch, and again another single crochet in your final stitch. Take your stitch marker and insert it in the last stitch that you made. That's the end of round one. For round two, you're going to begin with a free single crochet increase. That means you're going to make three single crochets in the same stitch. I choose to work over my yarn tail to secure it. That's single crochet number one. Single crochet number two. And single crochet number three. In the next stitch you're going to make one single crochet. In the next five stitches, you are going to make five increases, meaning in each stitch you will make one increase. That means you will make two single crochets in the same stitch. Now moving to our second increase, that's single crochet number one and single crochet number two. Our third increase single crochet number one and single crochet number two. Our fourth increase, single crochet number one and single crochet number two. Our fifth increase, single crochet number one and single crochet number two. Remove your stitch marker and make a single crochet in your final stitch. Once you've completed the stitch, you put your stitch marker back into the last stitch and you mark down that you've completed round two. For round three, you will start by making a single crochet in the first stitch. In the second stitch, you are going to make a combination of three stitches. A single crochet, followed by a half double crochet, followed by another single crochet, all in the same stitch. That's your half double crochet going in. And now it's just a single crochet, again in the same stitch. In the next stitch you will make the single crochet. And then we are going to finish off with a slip stitch. This is the end of our round, even though we haven't gone all the way around. You need to leave a yarn tail that will be long enough to sew your eye patch to your head. Just pull your yarn through the slip stitch, and then take that short little end that's left and just snip it off. And that gives you your first eye patch.
Now what I do is I insert my hook from the back to the front. I hook my yarn tail and I pull it through to the back of the eye patch. This just gives us a more even result when we do sew it to the head. Remember to make two eye patches by returning to the start of round one to make the second eye patch. Keep your eye patches handy for next time. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to Crochet Republic for more crochet tips, tricks and creative projects. Ring that bell to stay updated on all our upcoming yarn fold escapades. Thank you for joining us on this crochet journey. You can also find Crochet Republic on Etsy, Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the introduction below the video for easy access. Handmake with love until we meet again in the Crochet Republic. Bye for now.